in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an isolated color photograph with one color showing and the rest of your photograph in black and white. This is going to be in response to a piece by Kath Riley, who is a realistic pencil artist um, who normally does things which are monotone, black and white, very tonal. Um, however, this particular piece of the Cherry Bake Quills is going to be our inspiration as it's got a little pop of color in it. So first things first, I need to open my photo editing software and there is a free one that's very similar to Photoshop called PhotoP at www.photop.com. You just type that in and that will take you to the website. And then you're going to search for some relevant images or take your own. So I've searched for Cherry Bakewells and I've got a selection of different photographs. I'd like to find a photograph which has some an interesting background. And so I'm just gonna click and hold that one down and then I'm going to drag into the photo P tab and then I can drop it and it just opens the image ready for me to use. So then I'm gonna go to the left of the screen for my tools and I'm going to go to the quick selection tool and click on that. And this will allow me to select some of the colors and not others. So if I just click on all of the red cherries, I'm just going to click and drag um, some bits you might want to just be careful with. So if I was to click on this white bit, the whole background would reappear. If that happens, you can just do control Z and it will undo that last selection. So I'll just do that to show you. Oh, actually it's, it's working pretty well. Sometimes it does that and I'm just clicking and dragging any of those colors that I want to appear. So any of those cherries. Um, oh, there we go. So I'm just going to do control C and there is undone that last selection. It's going to keep doing it. So I think I just need to be careful with that one. That will be fine. I'll keep it as it is. Okay. So I've got my cherries selected. Then I'm going to go up to edit, copy. And then I'm going to go down here to the bottom right and I'm going to select new layer and as you can see on my layers tab I've got another layer now on top of the background layer which has the image so I'm going to go back to edit and paste and that should paste a copy of my cherries in so if I click on the background layer there's a little eye we can see there we've got the image that we have just copied over I'm going to click on that. Now you want to select your background layer because we're going to make this black and white now. So if we go up to image, adjustments, hue and saturation, and we're going to, if I just move this out so you can see where I'm doing, you just go down to saturation and that makes that image black and white, which is very similar to the style of Kath Riley. Okay, so now I can save that image. You can save as a Photoshop file or you can save it as any sort of JPEG, PNG. I'm gonna save it as a JPEG. You can change the quality. I'm just gonna stick with it as it is. That'll do for what I want. And that will uh, be saved in my downloads. Thank you.